Welcome to another Pilates Reformer workout. My name is Melanie, this is my friend Rebecca. Today we're going to do an intermediate Reformer workout using the ball. So keep your Pilates ball nearby. We're gonna start with three red springs on the machine. You're gonna to come to lying down on your machine. Headrest can be up or down, whatever feels comfortable to you. We're gonna begin with your shoulders just an inch or two away from the shoulder blocks. Feet will be hip distance apart, arches of the feet on the foot bar. Grab your ball next to you, place it into the palms of your hands. Elbows will be wide, ball will be hovered just right above your chest. You're gonna keep your knees as wide as your hips. Give the ball a little squeeze as you exhale, press away, extending the legs, pushing the carriage out. Inhale, slightly release your pressure on the ball as you come in. Big breath in, exhale, squeeze the ball. Inhale, draw the carriage in slowly with control. Let's go for another five and bring it in. Let's go for six, I mean four. Forgot which way I was counting. Off to a good start, <laughs> three. Remember that little pressure as you extend. Last one, as you come in, you're gonna bring it halfway home, bend the knees, you're gonna take tiny pulses of the legs and presses on the ball. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, getting shoulders and chest even as we work through the legs. Two, one, big breath in, exhale, extend it long, inhale, bring it all the way in. Good, hold onto that ball in your hands. We're now going to bring the balls of the feet to the foot bar. Raise your heels up into your releve or high heel position. We're gonna keep it going for another eight. Big breath in, exhale, extend, squeeze the ball, inhale, bring it in. Good, let's go for seven. Let's start with like a moderately brisk pace. This will be six, keeping the knees as wide as your hips. Five, heels stay lifted the whole time. Four, squeezing the ball as you extend, slightly releasing as you come in. Three, last two. And one, as you extend out, now you're gonna keep the legs straight. L uh, legs extend. Oh, Low, it's okay, lower the heels under the bar as you squeeze the ball, inhale, raise the heels. Good, let's go for eight. And lift. Seven, and lift, controlling the movement. Five, and lift, so you're not popping through the joints, you're controlling this with your muscles. Four, three, two, and one, lift the heels. Now we're gonna go for a run. One leg bends, the other extends, and lift. So you're thinking about up motion each time. So each time you extend the legs, you wanna feel that accent up. Tiny pulse on that ball every time you extend one leg. Still breathing, let's go for four. Three, two, one. Now give it a double pulse, pulse on one side, lift, pulse, pulse, other side, lift, pulse, pulse. Switch, pulse, pulse, and lift. Feeling that nice calf stretch here, but still keeping the pace a little brisk so we get that almost cardio warm up here. Let's go for three, two, squeezing the ball in those pulses, and one. Good, lift both heels, bend the knees, uh, bring the carriage home. Bring your feet as wide as the corners of the foot bar. We're just gonna rock the knees side to side. We'll windshield wiper the legs, you can let your hip fall over on the top. Very good, and when you're ready, we're gonna roll up to sitting, switch to one red, one blue spring, and you are going to lower the headrest. We're gonna go for some abdominal challenge. So you're gonna scoot your body just an inch away from the shoulder blocks again, place the ball underneath your sacrum, so it's the very, very bottom of your back, kind of where your back meets your butt. You're gonna grab each strap in your hands, and you're gonna lift the legs to tabletop. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You're gonna to put a little, uh, knees together, thighs together. You're gonna to put a little bit of pressure in your palms so that your hands are right above your shoulders, pulling the carriage away from the stopper. Big breath in, head stays down, arms float down toward the mat. Inhale, raise them right back up. So you wanna think about a nice straight wrist here. So you don't wanna bend or break in your wrist. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the wrist joint. Think about putting pressure through the middle finger for a nice long, line through the wrist that's really gonna help protect your joints. Good. Exhaling as you extend, or lower the arms down. Make sure your heels aren't dipping down. You wanna raise them up just a little bit so that your shins are parallel to the ceiling, very nice. You're keeping that squeeze on the inner thighs the whole time. Good. Ball under the sacrum is giving you a little bit of a different challenge because it's creating some instability under the pelvis here, which is making your core 
fire just a little bit harder to keep you steady. Good. Next time you press the arms down, you're gonna hover them just an inch above the mat. Squeeze the elbows in toward your waist. You're gonna bend the elbows and extend the arms. So keeping the arms hovered above the mat just a little bit. Tricep extensions. Let's go for eight. This is seven. Six. So keeping that squeeze on the inner thighs, that sense of the belly button zipped in and up. Last three. Two. And one. All right, let go of both straps. You're gonna place them down by your sides. Roll on up to sitting. We're going to switch to one blue spring for most, or if you need a little bit more resistance, one red spring would be fine. Single arm extensions with the ball under the sacrum. So, ball goes back under the sacrum, that lowest part of your spine. You're gonna grab the right strap in your right hand. Left arm goes long by your side, pressed into the mat, legs to tabletop, inner thighs squeezed together to start. You're gonna begin pressing that right palm down toward your right side. Inhale, bring it up. Big squeeze on the abdominals to keep your pelvis steady here. So if you feel like you're bobbling around a lot, you can think about one of two things. You can keep both hands in the straps for this, or you can take the sacrum out from, under, or the ball out from underneath your sacrum uh, and just focus on the single arm challenge. This is feeling very doable. You can also consider extending the left leg out to 45 degrees and keeping it there or bringing it back to tabletop, whatever feels best to you and your body today. Good, I'd like to go for another four. Last three, just stopping with the arm right above the shoulder. That's about it, yeah. Two. And last one. Pause with the arm hovered above the mat. We're gonna go for single arm triceps now. So you're gonna bend that elbow, keeping it anchored in toward your body and extend. So the elbow's not necessarily hitting the mat, keeping that hover, but also making sure it's not floating away from your side. Good. Four more, please. This is three. Using that exhale as you press through the strap. Two. Squeezing the abs in and up. Last one. Good. And float that arm up over your shoulder. Both legs come to tabletop. Place the right strap down by your side. You can place the feet on the foot bar and reset to bring the left hand into your left strap. Right arm skates down by your side. Shoulders roll back. And we're gonna begin pressing that left hand down toward your side. Inhale, bring it up. So once again, think about your middle finger pointing down slightly to keep that wrist straight. Or you can also think about the sensation of revving a motorcycle. Good. If this is feeling comfortable, doable, you can also consider extending the right leg out to 45, or even a little bit lower if you're feeling uh, fancy today. If that's you not know, something in between, you can also extend the leg as you press the arm down and bring it back to tabletop. That's another option for you. Let's go for another four. This is three. Last two. And you know what's coming. One, hover that arm just an inch above the mat. Bend the elbow, extend, straight wrist. Arm is anchored in pretty close to your body. Good, we're going for eight, seven, six, five, keeping the elbow hovered, core is tight. Last four, three, really quiet pelvis. And the last one, extend the arm, float the arm up over your shoulder, release that strap as you bend the legs to tabletop, place the feet down on the foot bar, reach down, grab that ball from under your sacrum, and we're gonna move on to a little single leg and strap. So we're gonna roll up to sitting, we're gonna place one red spring on the machine next, and take the blue spring off, so one heavy spring. And we're gonna come back down to lying down on the machine with your head on the headrest, with the headrest down. Ball will come under your sacrum, just as it was in the last series, right under that bottom part of your spine. 
you're going to take the left strap into your left foot and we're going to bring the left foot up to 90 degrees, right foot up to tabletop, right leg up to tabletop, arms by your side. We're going to begin with straight leg presses down. So once again, squeezing the abdominals. Very good. How's this on your hip, Rebecca? Mm, Workable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Let's go for six. This will be eight in total. So leg is in parallel, knee facing your nose. You really want to think about engaging the quad to get the leg really straight. So that is pulling the quad up or the kneecap straight up to get that nice long line and a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Last two. And one, good. Hover the leg down at 45. Right leg extends up to 90 degrees. We're gonna scissor switch the legs. Good, we go for one. Good, eight in total. Let's start counting down to keep it consistent. This is seven, six. So you wanna float that, both legs really, as far down as you comfortably can. The lower you make that switch in position happen, the harder or more challenging this will probably be for your abdominals. The higher up that switch happens, the more stability you'll have. So play around with what makes sense to you. Find the right mix of challenge and stability for you. Good. We've got two more. And one. Good. Leave the legs in the scissor position. We're now going to bicycle the legs. So the left leg is going to press straight down as the right leg bends to tabletop and we extend. Good. That rope can go in between your knees or to the outside, whatever is more comfortable. I imagine outside will probably be best for most of you. But feel it out. Good. You've got five. And again, your toes can almost brush the foot bar if you have that much control. Otherwise, you can keep it a little bit higher at 45 if that feels more comfortable. Last two. And one. Good. Now we're going to reverse. Right leg shoots down, around, and up. Good. Really pressing through that strap. Nice, quiet pelvis. If you feel like you're bobbling, maybe keep the range of motion a little bit higher. Good. Four more. Exhaling as you press through the strap. Three. Two. And one. Very good. Anchor yourself with your right foot on the foot bar. You're going to take, uh, bend your knee, bring the carriage in, take that strap off of your left foot, and we're gonna grab the right strap, place it onto your right foot, we'll go right to the other side. Good, left leg comes to tabletop, right leg extends up to 45, arms extend long, roll the shoulders back, uh, and we're gonna begin pressing that right leg down to 45 degrees, back up to 90 degrees. Good, you've got seven more. And this is five, exhaling. Make sure you're not gripping the sides of the mat. You want your palms to be flat. Think about a nice amount of pressure through the hands, which will as well give you a little bit of tricep work and while you're just hanging out. Last two. And one, lower that down. Extend the right left leg up to 90 degrees. We're gonna scissor switch. Good, this is eight. So once again, the lower that switch happens, the more challenge you'll get through the abdominals. And the legs should be in parallel. So what that means is the knees will be facing your nose. We don't want external rotation for this version. There are other times where we'll do that. Today, we're gonna to keep it in parallel. Good, four more. How are your abs, Rebecca? Are you hanging in there? Mm -hmm. Good. Not surprised you're strong. Last two. And one, good. Now we're gonna bicycle. Right leg extends long and bends to bring it in, finding that full extension every single time. So just as with the scissors, the lower the legs go, the more abdominal challenge you'll get if you've got a good amount of stability. If you feel like you're bobbling around on the ball or it's not feeling rooted, you can bring the legs a little bit higher. We're gonna go for three more. two, and one. You guessed it, we're going to reverse. Legs extend low, up to 90, and around. Good. The 
this is six. Taking care to keep the legs in parallel. And again, that rope can be on the outside of the knee or the inside, whatever feels more, most comfortable to you and your body is fine. Last three. Exhaling as you press through the strap. Two. And one, very good. Anchor yourself down on the foot bar with that left leg. Grab the strap, take it off of your right foot. Place it down by your side. Reach underneath you, grab the ball from underneath your sacrum and we're gonna move on to some arm work. So when you're ready, please roll it up to sitting. We're gonna switch to one blue spring. And please turn so that you are standing, facing the right side of your machine on your shins. So you're gonna be on your knees facing the right side. You're gonna grab the right strap into your right hand and the ball into both hands. So you're gonna come up to kneeling, probably stepped with your knees a little bit away from the shoulder blocks, maybe about a foot. You're gonna grab the ball into both hands, a little bit of pressure in the straps, elbows are gonna lift up. And what we're gonna do is squeeze the ball as we twist the left side, exhale. Inhale, bring it right back to starting. So make sure that the ball's staying right in front of your sternum. You're not twisting the arms uh, ahead of the body. Everything here is staying rooted and centered. And make sure the ribs are staying stacked right above the pelvis. So Rebecca, for you, you want the chest just a little forward. Yeah, that's neutral for you. A little bit of pressure in that ball as you twist. <sighs> Exhale. And think about tucking the chin back, drawing the ears back. So it's almost like you're backing up a car. That's gonna help give you a nice stacked aligned position, the neck. Good. Let's go for three more. Two. And one. Pause in the twist. We're just gonna take tiny pulses, twisting one inch or less. Let's go for eight. Seven. Six. Super micro movement on the carriage. Five. Four. Three two, one, big inhale, bring it back home. We're gonna keep that strap holding onto the ball. You're gonna turn to face forward. So your toes are gonna go up against that shoulder block. You can close the carriage. And your knees are gonna be hip distance apart. You're gonna put pressure in that strap to draw the carriage forward. Hold onto the right strap in the right hand, still with the hips lifted. Ball in the hand, lift the elbows. We're gonna exhale, press the ball forward as you extend the arms, squeezing the ball. Inhale, bring it back in. Good, big breath in, exhale, squeeze the ball as you extend, bring it back in. And if you prefer, you can keep the elbows down. You can feel it out and see what you prefer. I personally feel like I get a little bit more power through the back when the elbows just skate by the ribs and I get a little bit more chest when the elbows are wide. Decide whatever feels best to you. Let's go for another four. Exhale, three. Good, gaze is right on the horizon, not lower, not higher. Exhale, one, very nice. Bring the carriage to a close, sit down on your heels. You're gonna release that right strap and reach back, grab the left strap. We're gonna go right onto the other side. Toes will be right up against the shoulder blocks, left strap in the left hand, grab that ball. We'll start with the shoulders lifted, or the elbows lifted. Exhale, squeeze the ball as you extend, core is really steady. Inhale, bring it back to starting. Little press through the ball and extend. If you prefer to have the elbows down, skating, right past the rib cage. That may feel better for you, or elbows wide may. Do what feels good to you. We're gonna go for six. Five, gaze a little bit higher if you would, Rebecca. Four. Last three. Two, little squeeze on the ball as you extend. And one, very nice. Close the stopper, bring your hips down to your heels, hold on to that strap, and we're gonna, just gonna turn around to face your left side. So now we're gonna go for that twist. So the strap is still in your left hand. You're gonna hold onto that ball, elbows lift really high, keeping the ball in front of your sternum. You're gonna exhale, squeeze the ball as you twist to your right side, inhale, bring it back. So something to think about is you don't wanna extend the body back as you twist, you really wanna think about keeping the ribs stacked over your pelvis. And this might not be a super wide range of motion, might be really small, that's completely fine. 
but you're gonna get the oblique work that you want here by keeping it really focused. Let's go for two more. Exhaling as you squeeze. Good, really nice form, Rebecca. And one, pause there. You're gonna take those micro pulses, squeezing the ball, wringing out the abdominals. Let's go for six, five, just a tiny, tiny micro movement. Three, two, and one. Very nice, bring it back to starting. Rest your hips down to your heels, release that strap. We're gonna finish off with one little plank series. So either on one blue spring, one light spring, or one heavy spring, blue will probably be a little less stability, red will offer a little more stability. You're gonna place that ball in between your knees. Toes will be curled under, feet against the shoulder blocks. Hands will be on the foot bar right under your shoulders. You're gonna begin lifting the knees up, extending the legs long. Just begin with a nice organized plank. So chin is tucked back. Wrists are right under your shoulders. We're gonna hold there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, rest your knees down just for one sec. Shake out the wrists if you need to. We're gonna to begin to move into a couple variations before we finish up. Big breath in, press through the wrist. Find your plank one more time. Good, and we're gonna begin going for a long stretch. So. Open up the shoulder angle, don't let the chin dip down, ears are drawn back, bring the shoulders over the wrist once more. Good, we're gonna go for eight. Good, thinking about the head coming on an upward diagonal every time you return. Got that nice pressure on the ball to help with a little bit of inner thigh engagement, some pelvic floor lifting as well. Good, this is five, four, and the range doesn't have to be intense. It can be relatively small, depending on where you are today. Don't force it. And last one. Good. Next time you press out, we're gonna hold there, bend the knees, draw them under your hips, and extend them out. Good, that's just eight. Still squeezing the ball, seven. Six, back of the neck is really long. Five, four, knees can come in a little bit more if you can, three, Last two, and one. Bend the knees, lower them down to the mat. Take the ball out from between your knees and find a little child's pose. Arms can be over the foot bar or over the sandpaper, whatever feels best. So take a big breath in, feeling your lungs expand in 3D. Exhale, feel your body settle. Go ahead, big breath in, exhale, feel your back rise, feel your ribs expand to the side, feel your belly pushing into your thighs, and exhale, relax. One more time, big breath in, exhale. Ring the air out like you're filling up a balloon, and you're gonna roll up to sitting, stacking the spine, one bone on top of the last. Go ahead, open your eyes, roll the shoulders back, and you are all set. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rebecca. Please subscribe to my channel. If you are not, a shockingly small number of you are subscribed and like this video if you liked it and um, come back and watch our videos more. We'll see you soon.